Hey YouTube, it's Dorian. Um, my video today is going to be about my solid return to Ubuntu. Um, I tried to make OpenSUSE my um, default desktop. I even almost considered getting rid of uh, my Ubuntu partition, but I also did the same with Manjaro. So lessons learned. I'm glad I haven't uh, I haven't done that in either case. Uh, Manjaro had my graphics issues, OpenSUSE I had some open, or not some open, some X11 uh, crashes and some BTRFS issues because I tried to um, I tried to convert my partition from ext4 to BTRFS for system snapshots and whatnot and it didn't go that well I had some issues with Yast and other things in OpenSUSE that was freezing up on me often, um, and it was just getting frustrating. And really, I I use Deja Dupe in Ubuntu, and I actually find it better. Um, you know, I can just go into my my file manager, and I can restore individual files or individual folders. You revert to previous version. And it'll pop up and let me restore just that. Uh, BTRFS kind of has the same thing, but um, I was using, you could do it by command line, but I was using Snapper and it kept on freezing on me. A lot of issues with Yast. And I don't know if you've seen on my uh, Twitter, but I have uh, 10 machines that I test this on and I had four, I think, that had similar issues. So OpenSUSE is gone, sort of. It was also the Tumbleweed version, so it was a rolling release. Um, if you've seen my other videos, I did a video on fixed release versus rolling releases. And um, I explained what the differences are. I've gone back to Ubuntu 16.04 LTS, and I think I'm going to stick with it. Um, so I'm using this 16.04.3, which that's what I should be on. If I see here, uh, it just shows a zero four. Oh yeah, there you go, point three. Um, and seventeen's out. Seventeen point zero four, seventeen point one zero. But I've tried it in a virtual machine. It's got the new GNOME interface, the latest three point two six, which is okay. But going back to sixteen point zero four, I actually don't mind it. I don't miss anything. Um, going back to this control panel, I was like, oh, where's the sidebar? But, you know, um, another thing you might notice if you see my other videos in OpenSUSE, I carried the, um, the theme, the green colors. I carried that over into OpenSUSE, the teal uh, and the dark. I really like that. And then I carried it over onto here. So it just goes to show, like in, I've said in my other videos, that you can use any distro you can use anything you want and just make it look however you want um, so I'm going to stick with LTS I am still gonna try other distros um, but the BTRFS didn't work and there are some issues with graphics like I said in OpenSUSE that didn't work uh, in if I used Wayland instead of X server it worked fine but you miss a couple of minor things like there's no animations and yeah I don't know just a personal preference thing I'm not re I'm not ready for Wayland and there's no decent screen recorder for Wayland so you know what Ubuntu has been rock solid uh, I posted on my Twitter a while ago that a new driver for Nvidia came out which actually works awesome now so I'm not using Bumblebee I'm not using Opterun or anything which is what I had to do in OpenSUSE and I didn't like it but with the latest drivers I was able to install my Nvidia card flat out I don't use the Intel one at all but I find the difference with doing this in Ubuntu now is that my card you can see here it's at 34 degrees my fans not even on so even doing graphical stuff um, like Chromium or Chrome, whatever you use, it uses the GPU. Um, and even using the GPU, 
my card's not getting hot at all. Not even enough to turn on the fan. So, um, and also battery life. Mm. Yeah, it's an hour and 17 minutes, but I was just finishing up some stuff. That it'll probably actually go up. I was just finishing some stuff in Blender on battery. So uh, that should probably go up. But this is a gaming laptop, and I have two hard drives in it, and I don't get a lot of battery out of it anyways. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to stick with LTS. Um, another video I did was 18.04 Bionic Beaver, the development branch, and it is due to come out in April. And so I'm pretty sure I can wait for that. That's fine. Then I'll have the GNOME um, 3.26.2, I think it is right now. I'm going to do another update uh, pretty soon and download the latest daily build and see if there's any changes with that. Um, so yeah, so unfortunately my my rolling release adventure didn't go that well, um, which is fine. I never lost anything, I never did anything permanent, so uh, yeah, I'm back on LTS and I'm pretty happy. And I think on hardware, I'm gonna do Solus next, I believe. I don't remember. Pretty sure I said somewhere what I was gonna do next, but I just kind of lost track. Um, if you guys have any other suggestions or anything that you want me to do, just uh, post it in the comments. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and share the videos. Uh, you can make requests, you can ask me questions on Twitter at Dorian.slash or here on YouTube. Totally up to you. Uh, I'll answer them best I can either way. And uh, yeah, the adventure continues. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you later.